Welcome to this uh, Windows channel, and uh, you might be wondering, well, this is a Windows channel where you're talking about Android for. Well, because um, a big, big number of um, Windows users also have Android phones or tablets lying around. And I wanted to um, kind of talk about the situation that's happening with Android. Uh, maybe you've heard, maybe not. If you watch my um, news bulletin, you know that Android, well, Google kind of, you know, removed 300 apps from the Google Play Store. And one of the things that we now know about it is that it was actually a malicious apps that were quietly hijacking your phone and transforming your phone into uh, distributed denial of service attack machines. What's that? It's simply that by infecting a large number of phones, it can use the internet connection of these phones to attack simultaneously um, websites and take them down. So that is something that appeared and um, the little story behind this uh, is uh, very interesting and also at the same time I will uh, give you little pointers to uh, to understand and see if maybe you could be affected by this and um, something that you might actually want to have on your phone from time to time to scan uh, would not be a bad idea so okay where does it come from how it been detected first of all it comes with uh, it's a botnet okay it's called WireX and basically what happened is uh, Hackamai, which is a uh, you know major uh, distribution of um, the, the company is, has major pipes to the internet, and they actually have you know uh, the valves open to different high-ranking companies that sometimes need more data. For example, it's one of those companies that you know Microsoft or um, Apple will you know tell them, look, we got a, a big update coming up. We need more data. We need more uh, internet access to actually push all of this. And Akamai is one of those distribution networks, if you want. And it has a lot of clients. What actually happened is that Akamai, at some point, um, noticed that one of their clients had a DDoS attack. And um, they were kind of wondering uh, what was happening exactly. So they looked into it a little more, and basically what they actually found is that actually these IP addresses that were uh, sending out the attack, well, they were not regular internet connections. They were associated with, you know, uh, phones or associated with mobile devices, and uh, that's when a host of researchers started looking around and saying, look, okay, what's happening? What exactly is causing this? And of course, that's when uh, they started noticing that many apps, um, as, as, as much as 300, maybe a little more, downloaded by about 100,000 people. So this is to give you an idea, 100,000 people. It's not a lot. 100,000 people is not a lot when you consider the fact that uh, some apps are downloaded millions of times, but still. Now these apps were removed by Google, so they are not in the Google Play Store anymore. And basically, if you're wondering, can I be one of those people that their phone's compromised? Um, if you downloaded anything that looks like uh, an app for video playing, for example, or something that uh, one is called two player, for example. Uh, another one is an app that actually boosts your phone. One is called Lucky Booster. Um, any apps that um, pretend that it is of some some form of security. Um, apps that would of course, um, you know, promise to uh, maybe scan your phone and make it faster. Uh, all sorts of these little things, all sorts of apps like these, but none of them have a well-known name. None of them are from well-known distribution. So, for example, if you downloaded something that uh, promises to make your phone faster, but it's from a 
well-known company? Um, no, it's, it's probably not that. Um, so basically, if you've downloaded anything that, you know, to boost your storage um, to uh, ringtones of some sort uh, through an app that you don't know where it comes from in the past few weeks, um, you could take a look at the Google Play Store and see if it's still there just to stay on the safe side. If you still see it there, then it's not one of the apps that was compromised. And basically, um, of course, one of the best things you should have always is a piece of software called Malwarebytes. They have a free version for uh, Android and the Malwarebytes software can scan your phone. It will scan individual apps and will actually find if you have something wrong on your Android phone. So um, it's a situation that affects about 100,000 phones or devices because it's been downloaded like 100,000 times. Well, actually, it could be less devices because maybe somebody downloaded you know some apps several times. But basically, if you've downloaded something that is you know storage manager uh, ringtones or uh, antivirus or you know uh, booster of some sort, and uh, don't know you know who the company that made it was check out the uh, Google Play Store just in case so it's uh, one of the first botnets that actually is found to be using uh, mobile devices it's a very very interesting one so that's the situation right now so you know just be careful if you haven't downloaded anything particular or if you have downloaded stuff but that come from you know well-known uh, companies you don't have to worry about it because these are really coming from uh, companies that are really like you know unknown for most people and uh, these apps have been removed now also one last thing Google says that if you have downloaded some of these apps in one of the security updates these apps will be totally disabled to make sure they don't work at all so you might uh, if you see a an app disappear by mis you know mysterious app disappear from your phone or uh, tablet without you doing anything it might be that they've removed it for you because it was one of the dangerous ones so that's pretty much the situation and uh, you know shows how sometimes it's possible that something will go through um, but you know and it mostly happens to the Google Play Store and I think uh, shows that there's you know Google needs to uh, ramp up its security for the different uh, apps it accepts and puts online. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.